Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a, a quick review of the Ingenious. This is a outdoor omnidirectional antenna, part number EAG2408. And I found this antenna on Amazon and they have like literally no information about it. All they have is a picture of the antenna and you can't even see what kind of mounting hardware you get with it. But uh, it's way cheaper than all the other antennas that they have listed. It was only around 25 bucks, so I figured it was worth it to, uh, to take a stab and order it and see what you get. So I just thought I'd share that with uh, anybody else who was interested in building some kind of a, a repeater system or sending a high power Wi-Fi signal uh, out to a larger area. <clears throat> in this case, I'm using it to build a repeater system in a uh, RV so that when I'm in an RV park, I can pick up the signal from uh, wherever, preferably uh, the RV park signal, and then amplify it to inside the RV. And you can see right here, I'm using a uh, amped wireless Wi-Fi repeater, and uh, I'm gonna be taking this antenna off right here, running a wire up through the roof to a system I'm gonna build to uh, this antenna. But anyways, <clears throat> as far as the antenna goes itself, it's actually really nice, nice quality. The uh, bracket down here, this is all uh, aluminum. It comes just like this. You can see the antenna itself is about uh, 17 inches, just, just hair over. And it comes with all this uh, handy mounting hardware. <clears throat> so the way that this goes on, you've got little set screw here. Once you've run your uh, attached your wire, this piece goes right over the end. Get your little uh, set screw there to attach it, <clears throat> and then using these two brackets, that fit perfectly over this, and then you've got uh, two U bolts that will go in here. So you can you can attach this thing to to a pole, flag pole, or a pole mounted on the roof. Now I'm actually not going to be using any of the hardware. I'm going to create a PVC mast that I can raise and lower. So what's cool, if you wanted to do the same kind of thing, is that this aluminum sleeve is actually exactly one inch inner diameter. So what I did, I've got a section of uh, one inch PVC this this antenna will fit perfectly into the end and I'll attach it with a set screw in, in much the same way there you go so now it's in and I'm actually gonna then cut this off and I've got an adapter to a slightly smaller piece of PVC this is three quarter inch with a uh, this is a one inch to a three quarter inch adapter and the reason I'm going to go to a smaller piece of PVC is because I found this handy. This is actually a flagpole mount that I'm going to mount on the roof. It's all aluminum. You just loosen this guy and you can raise it up and lock it in. The other thing uh, you'll need just for the antenna, you need something like this guy right here. This is the uh, it's a trend net. Here. It's a low loss six and a half foot uh, reverse SMA to end type cable. They also have this in 25 foot or so, but this end right here screws into the antenna and this end is a perfect match for your uh, your repeater or for a Wi-Fi router. Um, if you're going to mount this up on a house and it's going to be there permanently, it's not a bad idea to include a uh, some kind of a grounding cable. And I believe TrendNet has kits for that. They do lower the signal quality a little bit, so if it's not something you have to use, I wouldn't. But at the same time, if you're going to stick this antenna, you know, up on a roof or something, you don't want to get uh, you don't want to get your equipment fried, and that'll happen in a lightning storm. So there you go. I hope this uh, this was useful. Uh, you're not afraid to, to buy this antenna now at any rate. It's really a great, very nice quality antenna. Uh, I looked at the Amped Wireless antenna that was about 75 bucks, and it actually has a built-in 
mounting hardware so it wouldn't even have worked for me because uh, you, you literally can't remove the hardware <clears throat> and uh, other antennas were built kind of the same way uh, so I actually think even though this one's way cheaper it's also better and much more flexible uh, if, if you're gonna buy it I appreciate it if you use my link um, but if not no problem and again I hope this was useful good luck take care